Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. It's time to finally get some gratification out of this project. It's time to go outside and put some wood back on the boat. All that stuff I've been varnishing all those nights in the garage with all the varnish fumes. It's time to actually start to see the rewards of that labor. So, oops, the box I was leaning on just caved in. Anyway, uh, let's get out of here and go get some wood pack up back on that boat, start making the thing look like a classic old sailboat again. So come on along, let's go. Well, hey there. So you'll you'll notice if you look around at my official drying rack up here, the two of the big pieces that were here back on the boat. So it got a little dark last night as I was trying to kind of take a quick look around the cockpit there. So I'm going to throw the ladder up, jump up there, and give you a look now. And uh, bear with me because the cockpit is really dirty, needs to be cleaned. But other than that, 
I got most of that woodwork back in on the outside. I'm going to get these two sections along the bed in, and then I'm going to start working on my mahogany pieces on the top of the cabin where all the clamps go. So that'll, because that takes a while. Last time I did that, that took a while. So I'm going to jump up there, throw the ladder up, climb up, and give you a look around the inside of the cockpit. So that's the cockpit boards back up. I'm missing a screw right there, which is, I'm sure, down inside. I just need to go hunt it down. And I don't know if you saw last night, I put a, took a piece of line and kind of went around my winches, make sure I had those straight because I just wanted to make sure these little clamps are kind of unsophisticated, so you need to make sure that they're going the right way. Um, so I spun my rope around the winch and made sure with the winch travel going the right direction my halyard would hook up. So these dudes right here and right here will be next. And then those big long pieces on the inside of the um, berths in there so I'll get those up here get those screwed in find that other screw for over here and get it in and we'll about be done with the woodwork side of this thing <clears throat> well damn it I got a quandary again so I knew this was gonna happen I've got the bench board roughly in place. This is my berth that I redid. So that's been stained with some stain and some polyurethane over the top of it. But here's my problem. Look how crappy that looks. So my problem is all the other wood inside of this stupid thing. So I put my sideboard up there and I stuck a couple of screws in place just to see how it was going to look and it really makes the other wood look really bad. So I knew I wanted to freshen up these bulkheads. I've already sanded them a little and I'm going to pull my chain plate out and sand these up. I'll probably take this little spice rack or whatever it is off and Freshen this up, same over here. But I really didn't want to do these and the side and this sole, cabin sole piece here. But it kind of looks like I need to. And I, I want to get done with this thing. I got this little old lady that walks by every day with her husband. And every time I'm out there, she's like, are you going to get that thing in the water this year? Are you going to take it out this year? Every time she walks by, she asks me that. So I'm getting all this peer pressure from the, the damn neighbor lady who doesn't understand this is a project as much for the work of the project as anything else. So I think what I'm going to do today is ponder this for a while. I'm going to work on those boards up on top of the back of the cabin, I think, and maybe I'll ask Rachel to come over and give me her opinion. And then I'll decide if I'm gonna do the whole, you know, kind of clean up all this wood inside and freshen it up, which just means, you know, I gotta just get the sander in here and sand that stuff down a little bit. The problem, part of the problem is, is it's not gonna be very easy to work on because Let's, so let's say this is the aft end of the cabin here, and these are my scuppers from up top. And 
you know, so I might I need to take those off. I've been kind of thinking I need to take those off anyway. Those are probably the original from when this boat launched. And, you know, there's the ocean right there, which when I'm in the water, I think, you know, was up a little ways. So those probably need to be replaced anyway. But I don't know, at what point does this insanity end? I mean, really. This is a 1969 boat that's only 22 feet long. It's not going on the ocean. It's not taking me anywhere except maybe up around Strawberry or Bear Lake or something, but I don't know. And if I pull it out, if I do start this, then I got my old switch panel down in here, which I think is still fine. It's just dirty, but I got to do the electrical work anyway. So if I pull that out, I might mean, wind up just doing that as well. So getting that out of there. So I'm kind of talking myself into doing it. It's just a mess. And I was just kind of ready to be done with the mess inside of this thing. But you know what? If I just tear into it, it might not be so bad. I'll throw these sideboards up in the front berth and I'll just go grab a box and take all my stuff out of here. So it's all clean. I'll vacuum it all up and see what I really got to deal with. And I, it might not be so bad. So I might be talking myself into it. <laughs> if nothing else, if you're watching this, you're getting some insights into the psychotic way my brain works, right? As I have to talk myself into these projects. But, you know, I've been holding off on putting any bolts through the chain plates, really. I just have them kind of sitting in place there. And if I get these bulkheads finished up, so there's there's like two considerations with the bulkheads. First of all, I do, I've already sanded them a little bit, so I need to sand them completely. And they've, you know, they got some water marks there and stuff. So I need to get all that done. This is where my new lights are gonna go. So I need to do something with the lights anyway. So, yeah, I'm not done anyway with this project. Who am I fooling? So I might as well just do it right, right? I've done everything else. I've tried to do everything else kind of right and complete and all the way through and not, you know, pull any shortcuts. And this feels like if I don't do it this way, I'm doing a shortcut. So time to go get a box and clean this mess out of here so I can see what I'm really up against, but that's what I think I've just made my mind up. It's might as well just do it. It's August now. So it's getting so hot anyway that, you know, the only time you can work on this thing is early in the morning or late at night inside here, especially because there's no air movement, but good excuse to work a little and then go camping with Rachel or something. So anyway, there we have it. The ruminations of an undecisive boat builder guy. <laughs> Where does the project end? Well, I guess this hasn't ended yet. So I'll clean this mess up and maybe splash the water around that cabin or that cockpit out there so it looks better. I am. I know I am gonna have to get that piece built for the tiller. And I got my stanchions and stuff I can put up so I got some work to do. Oh, look at that. I got me a little spider inside. I hate spiders. What are you doing, man? I'm sorry, Rachel, but that guy's going to die. All right, well, brief stint with the vacuum, and I got the... So I put all the parts in one box and apparently half of every tool I own is on the boat here. So I'll take all those down, put them back in the toolbox. I think that's a dead can of urethane that I can't even get open anymore. I don't know why I haven't thrown that away yet. That's a brand new can. So that's what I'll use. I think that one's an old one from before, but I'm gonna pop those chain plates back out, put a piece of tape over the holes up top so no water gets in again. I'm going to bring my cabin pieces back down here for the time being and pull out the speakers and that thing, the, or the, uh, the old stereo headset there. Tear into it. So um, that's the plan.
Okay, so there is the port side. All undone. The door off. Got the wiring in there for the, where I ran some power to the stereo. Man, what a mess. And this side is coming along. A little tougher to reach the screws behind that thing because of the little pseudo sink here. But uh, these are my doors. So it's always easier to work on a wood one. You got it off. And um, hmm. Well, yeah, I'm just wondering if it might not be a bad idea to see about finding me maybe some really thin veneer or something. I'm not really sure I need a stereo anymore. It didn't work very good anyway. It wasn't a marine stereo, but it didn't survive. And uh, I did see somebody that did one of these Santana res restorations where they pulled out this original fiberglass piece here and built a nicer kind of cabinet there. <laughs> I'm not going down that road, Don. You're crazy. No, just don't even think about that. But I am either I'll see maybe I can find a Bluetooth stereo headset or something that would go there that'd be a little bit more easier to work off the phone or something so I might leave that yet I'll do a little research but obviously I couldn't sand any of that down or anything with everything in place so I've got it um, sand out apart and the phone's ringing so I'll grab that and then I'll be right back well I'm sorry to interrupt you for that stupid robo call gosh don't we hate those things so anyway, um, so I'm gonna get that piece off there. I'm, while I'm at it, I'm probably gonna go see about, you know, these are the places that you store those, those wooden sides here, kind of either go along up here if they're out of the way, or they go notch into that notched piece here if you want them as a backrest for when this is a, a bench. So, so I'll take off those in the back because you know if you are cleaning up this wood and you know revarnishing it, it's always easier to work on it when you've got it in your hand and you can just deal with a little piece at a time. So, um, so anyway, so I'll do that side and we'll see if we can get this done. So I'm gonna leave the camera running while I go through all the contortions necessary to get into that to get that other piece off because that might be comical. So we'll set the camera right here. So you can just watch me struggle.
Well, okay, it's been a long day of sanding. Hot day in the boat here, not much breeze blowing, hardly any at all right now. So it's been a little sweaty in here, but here's where I'm at. So pretty much have that all sanded down, that all sanded down. There's my table, or my little spice rack thing, the doors, the things for the backer to the benches. So looking at this compared to the stained stuff, I'm thinking <clears throat> I probably am going to want to stain it all the same color. I'm just a little scared to do it, you know, on a spot that is part of the boat with it because if what if I don't like it? So <laughs> so I'm going to do the sides down here on the bottom because I know those are going to need some treatment and I'm going to this is the the plywood is what's loose here has moved away from that fiberglass so I'm gonna goop some fiberglass down in there some resin and maybe drive a screw or something through there to hold that pull that back this way and seal that up that little chunk right there across the forward part ah, there's nothing I can do about that it's it's all solid and hard and won't move so not much I can do about that, but I'm not going to worry about it. But this one, I see that all the time when I'm in a boat, and I just would like to fix that up so it looks a little better. So I think I'm about to wrap this project for the weekend, go up and edit some video and put all this stuff together for you and post this one. I'm going to leave it where it is for now. So as the week progresses, I've only done 60 grit on all this stuff. So i got to work my way up to some finer grits and get a little get that smooth it's pretty rough right now so um, and then these are the old handles that were the door poles those are pretty nasty looking things so I may put some new door hardware on there I think the hinges are okay these are the hinges but they're you know back here so they're hidden for the most part you don't even see them but the door poles are out in the plain view of everything and so I just they are looking pretty ratty and I'm not even gonna mess around trying to polish those up or anything I'm just gonna get me some new ones and that's about all I'm gonna do uh, famous last words I've said that before haven't I that's all I'm gonna do so anyway I am I did decide to do this and I'm into it well along now and it's going okay so I'll I've sanded all that stuff down to, you know, I just started with 60 grit, then 80, then 120, then 220, and it seems like all I'm ever doing is telling you how many, the numbers of the grit that I've been using, but it's nice and smooth, looks good, so it's ready for whatever treatment it's gonna get. And as I think, I think this piece right here, this little bench thing, might be my sacrificial piece of wood to see how a little stain works and you know maybe just some of the polyurethane without anything to just bring out that grain I probably should varnish that but I'm not going to because a I don't have enough varnish and I don't want to wait another two weeks to get another can of varnish B trapped up inside of this thing varnishing that I would lose my mind so I'm not gonna do that so anyway, um, that's where I'm going to leave it. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, you probably should because this slow motion train wreck here is getting to the part where it's going to start getting fun. So hang in there with me, and I'll see you next time around.